is Maxpedition's Sitka Gear Slinger. Let me show it to you. You can get this thing at maxpedition.com. You can see it in other colors. This color is digital foliage camo. And I'm wearing it. Uh, what's unique about the Sitka is it's a shush dog. Is it's a backpack with a single shoulder um, crossbody carry. And what it comes with very uniquely, which is a fantastic idea, is a stability strap. It's attached to the back of the bag. It goes right here and it's adjustable to make it tight on your chest. And it just really, it brings it together. It keeps it compact. It makes it very, very comfortable to carry. So anyway, let me take this thing off and show it to you. Yeah, I'll tell you what, now I'm going to take it off. I'm going to show you what the neat thing about the sick is. Give it a little pull here, grab this handle, and now the thing's in front of me. I can sit on the bus, sit somewhere. As you're hiking, you don't even need to stop. You can just keep walking. You can get right to the main compartment. You can get right into this pouch and this pouch. I mean, it is just very a unique feature of this bag. So basically what the bag is, is this main frontal pouch, a smaller frontal pouch, the main compartment, and behind the main compartment in the back is another zipper for a water bladder, but I'll show you that when we get to the back of the bag. So let's start right here with this main pouch. So it has a zipper, it has this uh, little security strap here. There's a couple little security features on the Sitka. This is one of them. So this is, uh, and actually I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm going to change a couple of these to orange in a second so I can show you some of those um, safety security features that the Sitka, and I think the Kodiak's got it too. So close it, get to snap it. It just can deter somebody just from getting in your bag when you're wearing it on your back. You know, just one, one little thing to slow them down. So in the main compartment, you unzipper. I got a Rodia pad in here. What size is this? Five by five inches. And that fits in there, no problem. With lots of room to spare. You got like this workforce pouch thing. That fits in there. So the main has this, uh, the main frontal pouch has this nice diagonal sleeve here, and the flap also has a sleeve, as well as a key holder. And, that, and that's a nice big pouch in here. So how big is this pouch? This is nine inches by 10, holds about two inches of stuff in there. That's the main front pouch. And then the smaller pouch in the front, this thing is nine inches by four and a half, and it also holds two inches depth of stuff in there. So what I have in here is uh, just a three and a half by five and a half inch Moleskina three by five index cards and they actually both fit in there and zipper nicely. So that's a that's a pretty good sized pouch in here. So what is in here is a sleeve on the back. There's three elastic things here for tools or if you want to contain things so they're not all sliding jumping around. There's no sleeve on the, the flap there but you see it opens three um, almost all the way as well as this front pouch just had like this whole giant opening like that. So so that's the front. There's PALS attachments on the front of this pouch. This has a, a shock cord so you can put a tool through here and carry something this way. Shock it, cinch it up. Okay, so let's go to the main pouch. So the main zipper compartment is a dual zipper. It opens like this too close okay it opens like that so along the back is a sleeve and a, and a larger sleeve you keep junk everywhere and in the front part of the flap is behind a little SRB there's a full sleeve here SRB can contain your items in there has a zipper with a mesh pocket, two mesh pockets. And how big is that? How much stuff is that going to carry? I'm going to show you what it can carry. One sneaker, two sneakers, shirt, jeans, jacket. Yes. Sneakers, jacket, jeans, and a shirt fits in there. And there's still totally room in these front pockets.
they point out the water bottle holder. Let's go to the back. The back is so nice. The full length of the back of the bag has a soft, breathable cushion material to go on your back. A little hook, a nice padded handle to carry. And what I really like about this, it's got a zipper. You can put your concealed carry in there or you can put a, a 100 ounce uh, water bladder. And the tube would come out the top through this little area here. What I like about this is when you're on the airplane and you got straps dangling around because you're just trying to shove it under the seat in front of you. I'll buckle this. It's in the water bottle pocket. Reach your hand in. Grab the stability strap. Tuck it into the rear zipper compartment. This strap goes in there as well. And it's a dual strap, um, dual zipper back here, so you just take one of them, bring it down. So now you can shove that right under the seat in front of you when you're on the airplane. So, the front of the bag has the small pouch, the larger pouch, this nice Y strap to cinch it all shut. Has this nice handle. When I pulled it around from my back to my front, I was able to use this handle, give it a yank around. There's uh, PALS attachments here. There's a large ladder PALS attachments here on the side. There's one on the strap, but I got it tucked in there right now. More PALS attachments. I'm going to show you what this little security feature is. Let me go change these. I want to make it more clear. So this is the Maxpedition Sitka. I hope you enjoy the video. You can pick this thing up at maxpedition.com or you can go there and just look at their other gear slinger bags or the other colors and offerings that they have. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.